Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nastasia. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't done so as well. For today's video, I'm just sharing with you guys some really awesome stuff that I thrifted more recently. And I know that this is a ton of stuff. I kind of like stocked up for the project that I was working on. You guys know I recently staged a home and I didn't use everything and I obviously cannot keep everything. So if you guys want to shop any of these items I'll have my Poshmark linked down below because I'll definitely going to put some stuff on there that I am not keeping so if you see something that you like in today's video it might be available on there so definitely head over there and check that out there's so much awesome stuff in this video I wish I could keep everything but we all know that I can't so let's just jump right into it all right guys the first thing I just like had to show you this and I put it right next to me because I didn't want to forget to share this because this is probably my favorite thing from this video I saw this in the shop and this woman was like looking at it and I thought for sure she was going to get it and I was really sad and then she like walked away from it and I immediately grabbed it and then she you could tell she had like immediate regret because she was like looking back like hmm or I think she might have thought that this was maybe some sort of like special super expensive like worth a ton of money because of how quickly I snatched it up but I just loved it so it's this really cool like recycled glass bowl but the cutout detailing on it is what sold me and then the overall size of it I just feel like it's massive but it's super heavy and like good quality I just think that this is a super unique piece so I definitely wanted to pick that up and currently I just have this styled in my bedroom next up is just this old little oil gasoline container so this is actually displayed on a shelf at one of like my favorite furniture stores Timothy Olton I literally go there way too much but it's like my new favorite store so I go there all the time and they have this styled on their shelf but they actually like took the time to strip the paint from it which I thought was super cool and then it's just like a really cool piece of decor so I picked that up just because I thought it was like a super 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 unique piece and something that you could like style so many different ways so I thought that this was going to be a good option to pick up so I snagged this one and I just kind of like love how vintage it is I'm actually not sure if I'm going to strip the paint on it off of it or not but I will say like when they strip the paint off of it, it's like this really nice like vintage silver looking vibe and it looks kind of cool. So not sure what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I definitely had to pick it up. All right, next up, I still literally cannot believe that I even found this. Like when I found this, I was like, oh my gosh, I am in love. And that is just this brass cowboy boot. Literally, this piece of decor is so cool. I immediately styled it within my home like the second that I got it. I just think this is like so cool and so me. So this is a really cool piece of decor and I kind of looked it up. They're super rare. If I find one for you, I will try and link it down below, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. There's very few of these around. So if you see one, definitely snag it while you can. All right, guys, I wanted to take a quick break in today's video to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. I just think therapy in general overall can be very beneficial to your overall health and well being, as well as it is super important to prioritize your mental health. That's why I find that having something like BetterHelp has been very beneficial for me. The world's largest therapy service, which is a 100% online, and they actually have over 30,000 licensed therapists that can help you with whatever your needs are. It's super easy to get started. All you have to do is go to betterhelp.com slash nostalgia to fill out a questionnaire so they can better understand your preferences. My favorite part is you can choose a male or female therapist. You also get to choose how you speak to your therapist, whether that be messaging style, video chat, or a phone call, whatever your preference is. So it's super awesome to have access to a therapy on the go, which is something else that I love about BetterHelp. You can message your therapist also at any time via the chat as well as easily schedule through that as well. All the different therapists have their own area of expertise and approaches, so it's super important to find someone for your needs so you can have the best results with better help. You can also switch your therapist at any time. I find that this was super cool about BetterHelp because obviously you're not going to vibe with everyone. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you all through the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash nostalgia or choose nostalgia during sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. 
Next up is just this irregular vase that's on this cool little metal stand. This is something that I saw and I was like, immediately I have to have it. So this is super cool. It's just like very irregular shaped, very like thin on the sides actually too. So you can put a few flowers in it if you want, but to me, it's such a unique piece. I just have it styled in the corner with that cowboy boot just kind of like have those layered in the corner for now this would also be really cool if you did want to put flowers in it but for me i just have it styled like that because i think the vase itself looks cool enough all right next up is this little pinched vase and i think i'm gonna have to like let go of this one just because i have so many vases in my collection however this was probably one of my absolute favorite things that i found like it's very thick high quality glass vase, and it's got that like pinched detailing on the side of it. It's just super cool and unique. I definitely don't think I've seen anything like this before. So when I got it, I was like, okay, I need to snag it. Thought I was gonna use it as like a vase in my staging project, but I had other bases in my collection that I could use. So didn't end up getting used. I was also like, I don't want someone to break this <laughs> in the staged home. I was like, I'd rather just save it than have someone break it. So I think it's super cool. And again, I've never really seen anything like it. Next up, another super cool vase is just this little fish face. Now I've seen online that this is actually like a vintage wine bottle or like a vintage oil bottle. What I think would be super cool is if you use this as your olive oil dispenser in the kitchen like that would be seriously so cool um that was just like one of the ideas that i had for it so again a really unique vase i love the coloring on the glass as well so another piece that i knew i had to snag right away this next option would make a really great candle holder that's something that i'm always on the hunt for just because you guys know i don't like to set my candles directly on any of my furniture this one's got a really nice like glass container but it's held up by like this iron little tray situation going on so it just really is nice i think that both of these pieces are super high quality you could use them separate too if you really wanted to so that was something that i definitely wanted to snag all right, next up, I didn't know what this was initially when I saw it. I was like, I'm not sure what it is just because like the lid was missing. So I was like, what is this? And then I looked it up and it's actually a vintage cocktail shaker. It's got this really nice hammered detailing on it. But when I saw it, I was like, this will literally make the most gorgeous vase. Like how pretty would this look with like some flowers in it? Like that was my immediate vision for this particular piece. Again, very high quality and durable since it is a vintage piece. Love that one. All right. And then next up is just this candle holder that I also saw and found. This one is metal, again, very high quality and durable. I thought that you could use this as a candle holder or you could even find a bowl to fit in the top of it and you could actually use it at like an entryway as like a catch-all dish. You just need to like go to Target and find like a glass bowl that would fit in it. Or I'm sure you could probably even thrift a bowl that could fit in it too, but I thought that that was a really great option for this piece. The next two pieces are a part of my gallery wall that I've been working on ever since I moved in and I don't even know if I'll be able to finish it before I move out of here just because I am being very mindful with the pieces that I add to it I want most of them from here on out to be like vintage pieces first thing that I added on there is just this vintage license plate and then I also added just this like vintage tennis racket I thought that those were both really nice vintage touches to that overall little gallery wall that I'm creating. I kind of know what other pieces I want on there. I just have not find, found them yet at the thrift store and I'm really being mindful. I want everything that I add to it from here on out to just be like thrifted and very vintage and cool. So I do like the way that it looks so far, but I'm hoping that I can finish it before I move. All right, next up, I thought that this was so cool. The only thing about it is it doesn't stand up on its own, which I don't think is a huge issue because I was like, maybe you can like build your own base for it or you can use it like stack it like next to like a stack of books or something super cool but it's just this like vintage looking ship i don't know immediately when i saw it i was like this is seriously such a cool piece of decor i had to have it i was like i can figure out what i'm going to do with it later but i thought that this was again a very cool vintage piece to have all right next up is just this yarn woven art piece the detail on it is super insane i can't really pinpoint like where this is i'm sure one of you guys can let me know in the comments down below i didn't look it up before this video but it is super cool i know it's definitely out of the country somewhere so if you guys know where that is let me know in the comments down below but i thought this was just like a really fun nice textured art piece all right so if you guys have ever seen the movie hocus pocus it's one of my favorite movies ever you guys know like the book from that when i saw this i was like this is literally the book from hocus pocus like 
that's exactly what this reminded me of. It's this really cool like vintage wooden book, but it's actually like a storage container type situation. When you open it up, it's like a little storage box. So this just was too cool for me to pass up. I was like, I immediately have to have that. Next up are these really cool, unique shaped glass vases. And they're really interesting because they all like kind of fit together. So they go in like little sets and they kind of just like match up. You could place them all together or you can kind of like separate them where you can see like the shapes that fit together. I thought that this would just be like a really nice piece of decor. You can put them like in a kitchen. You could even use these in the kitchen to like grow a different herb out of them. I thought that that would be a super cool idea for these as well. Next up are these little like brass goblets. I just thought that they were super cool. Obviously you can keep them like this where they look a little bit more vintage or I have seen a lot of people recently polishing things like this. So don't be scared if you see something like this at the thrift store. You can seriously easily polish it so quickly and it's not that big of a deal or you can keep it like this for me usually i personally think it looks better if it has like the vintage characteristics to it but it's all personal preference all right this little angel candle snuffer was just the cutest thing in the world i could not go home without it immediately when i saw it i was like okay this is for me <laughs> like i have to take it home i thought that this would be just like a super cute piece of decor you can even style it just by placing this on a stack of books since it does have like a more home decor vibe to it all right another very unique candle holder that I saw and this one is super cute you can even use this as like a pedestal to put a vase on top of it you don't have to use it as a candle holder but I thought it was just absolutely beautiful I was even thinking about changing the color on it like how beautiful would this be if you turned it to like a very like vintage gold tone or bronze that would look really cute as well but the texturing and color on it don't bother me that much all right this was such a good find I always find just like you know silver candle holders but these are on a much larger scale i believe these are like 14 inches tall each of them and they came in this set which is again harder and harder to find at the thrift store nowadays usually things are more of like a one-off so the fact that they had this set and again they're on such a large scale i think is awesome next up is this set of brass bowls and immediately when i saw them i was thinking about what to do with them and i came up with this idea how cute would these bowls be with just like white candles in them just like all staggered i think that that would look so cute so that's a really cool way that you can style pieces like this all right and then obviously i found this little candelabra candle holder very vintage looking and i couldn't pass it up anytime i see a candelabra at the thrift store i like have to grab it do i need any more absolutely not but it's like one of those things i'm like you can't pass it up you need it but <laughs> even though i probably don't all right and then there's this beautiful brass etched vase. I actually had a few of these, but I used some of them in the staging and then I kept this one just to have in my little collection, but these are absolutely gorgeous. The detail on these is really nice. And again, you just find such good things when you go thrifting because a lot of times the quality is just so much better. All right, guys, that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys for today's video. As always, the links to everything that I talked about in today's video, including better help will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.